Some people may believe they should not spank their children. I believe spanking and child abuse is not the same thing. If you get to the point where you are breaking bones, blacking eyes, breaking the child's nose and stuff like that, I believe that is going too far. You may say to me, Kevin, I used to get spanked so much in the past, so I don't want to spank my children because I don't want them to go through what I went through. Okay, let's see what the Bible has to say about spanking and or disciplining your children which I believe it is speaking about spanking as well. So let's go to Proverbs chapter 23, verse 13. Withhold not correction from your child, from the child. For if thou beatest, huh? For thou, for if thou beatest, him with the rod he shall not die so this is speaking about what spanking your children so withhold withhold not correction from the child so if the child acts up be bad i guess i can say spank that child some people may believe that they are their child's friend. As if they are equals. I think that is so wrong. In my opinion, and I believe in the Bible as well. Your child is not on the same level as you. If I am saying this correctly, I believe the way the order goes in the household, I believe it is the man first, so the husband, the wife, then the children. The wife is not on the same level as the husband. The children is not on the same level as the wife or the husband. I believe you can be friendly to your children, but I believe there should be a boundary. I believe there should be a boundary that the children should not cross. Let's go to Proverbs 22 and 15. So chapter 22 verse 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction, huh, shall drive it far from him. So if you are choosing not to spank your children, how can that foolishness be driven away from the heart? Huh? Well, Kevin, you know, I give my child times out and stuff like that. Okay. I believe time out or times, time outs, I guess I can say, is okay along with spankings. I think time outs alone may work for a while, I guess, but I believe what is really effective is, is spankings. Myself, as a child and all the way up to age 16, 15, I forget, I used to get so many spankings or beatings, I guess, <laughs> what they are called so much i tell you what i believe i have received 
timeouts as well. But I believe what was more effective for me is getting my behind whipped. I'm serious. And I believe if my mom did not whip me, I guess I can say, as many times as she did, I think I would have gotten in so much more trouble in my youth or in my, I guess, under 18 days, under age 18 days, I guess I can say. I believe one, one of the reasons I stayed out of so much trouble because my mom was so strict and I used to hate her for that. But I thank God that she was very strict on me. Hey, maybe she should have been more strict. I don't know. <laughs> Spank your children. As Proverbs 23 and 13 say, or in my own words, they won't die. If they do die, that is child abuse, right? Which I am not saying you should do. But what I am telling you, you should spank your children if they do wrong. Listen now. I used to have a friend and my friend died. I believe she told me, Kevin, the reason why, so, so in so many words, you know, I don't remember her exact words, but in my own words, Kevin, the only reason I did so much bad when I was younger, because I knew I could get away with it. That woman was really bad, really bad. But I believe as she got older, I think she calmed down some, I believe some, I believe. So it is not wrong to spank your children. In the United States, I believe it is not illegal to spank your children. So do it if they are doing wrong. Because, listen now, don't wait until your child turns 12, 13 years old, then try to discipline them. I think the longer you wait, the more difficult it is going to be to try to change that child. So do it while they are young. Let me see what this scripture says here. I believe there is another scripture where it says something like, train your child when they are young and they won't depart from it or something like that. So do it while they are young. I may post it in the comment section, I don't know. But train your child while they are young. I believe the younger they are, the more you can manage with them. Don't wait until they like a teenager or 16 and try to spank them and stuff like that. No, I guess you can, but I don't think it is going to work very well. I don't know. Let me stop here. God bless you.